morning, it's Colin Miles here from the Miles Better Groove Funnel Party channel and also all things Groove Funnels. Uh, today we're going to answer a question from one of our colleagues in the On Point Mentors group called Jenny Davis as to how you can perhaps steal um, various templates and blocks plus also uh, referencing question and answer sessions. So we're going to show you how to uh, steal blocks that you like from the templates and use them in your own pages etc. So let's first of all go to Groove Pages. Now let's hope we're going to work this this morning. There we go. We're going to add a new site. All right, because we're going to find the templates that we want. We could do this from a page, etc. Now I know that we want to steal a, a block from a page that is further down here. We were doing some research yesterday and I think it comes under course pricing. Here we go. So we're going to select this page first of all. We don't want the whole page, but we want what we want is from there is a block. So let's say we like this block. We want to use it in our own website, uh, in our own pages. Well, you can see this is a block. It comes up red on the outside. Now, when we go up here, we click on the block. We have an opportunity to find the embed code. That's quite complicated. Duplicate it, which I'm sure many of you have been using. Bin it, if we put it by mistake. But more importantly, what this little star is, we can make it a favorite. We can then choose where we want to put this. Do we want to leave it uncategorized? Or for ease for later, do we want to put it into one of these following sections? Now, this is a pricing one, so let's pop it in pricing. So we would think, and we're going to save. Okay, so that's the first thing. We have now saved this template. We can see that we've done that, but if we go to blocks and we go to all blocks, we can see that it has popped up in the top part whereby we, where we have saved some of them. If we wanted to specifically look inside pricing, we can drop down to here to pricing and hey presto, look it's there. Actually, the guys had already given us that one already, which is pretty cool, um, but it's there. If we decide we don't want it later, we can bin it. Now what that then means is, is that when we come back over to our site that we want to bring it into, we found that one, we want to bring it back into perhaps, let's say, um, this site here, uh, let's see what this site was, and this is my made-up site. Uh, now this is the new one I deleted yesterday. Um, it also has frequently answered questions, but let's say uh, we wanted to go, because it's inside there, let's add it to another page. We want to move this to another page. Uh, sorry, we didn't want to do that. We just wanted to add a page, uh, and it's going to be a blank page. We did it in the right place there. Now what we want to do is we want to bring that block that we had in from the other side. So in this case, we want to bring our pricing block in. And in the case of Al case of uh, Jen, we were looking for a question and answer block, which was available inside that one as well. And we found it somewhere else. This one happens to be green. So we can answer the questions. You pop your question in here. And how do we edit this? Well, we click like with always with Groove Funnels. Click, it goes red, and up comes the thing down the side. Now, we could make it a hover. This is quite a fun thing. I'm liking this more recently. We go in and we can make it, change it to have a color. And then we can uh, save. Now that means that when we come off of here, we go over here, it's gone to hover. That's pretty cool, quite like that. But if we want to actually then edit that, we would go to the configure, because it's basically a stylable element. So it's a button, in other words. And what we can do here then is we can use this to change the text. So let's call it test test question and we'll see what happens when we update it and there it drops down there and then we can just nip in here and it reset oh hello sorry we want to go in here and we want to delete excuse me and we're going to put in test answer here all right now we can also go back into the design because we're still inside here we can then highlight it and we can do all of the other things that we want to normally do with inside the questions and the answers etc and then we save so let's just come out of that and then we can drop back into here and let's save and then we should if we drop down here that should disappear why is that not this thing? Let's have a look. I think in some of them we have to go live to see it happen. There we go. It doesn't happen in the thing to test it. There we are. So we're up on the test. I use the preview section, drop the question, and off it goes. Drop the question, and off it goes. So there we are, guys. There is a very simple um, suggestion. I think if we come here, we can go back to configure. We can actually close there, I think. Update, there we go. Show as open or closed. Uh, we look at this one. 
uh, it says it's showing it as open. So you can see that again, it's in Stylable, and if you find something that you like, one of the other templates, you don't have to redesign it, you just like it, show you again, you just star it, choose where you want to put it, and it will end up in your blocks. Hope you found that useful, guys. If you do, please uh, like our page, um, either on the Facebook Miles Better Groove Funnels Party page, or do go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. If you keep typing Miles Better, you'll come up with usually the third one down. Um, and there is a whole selection of videos on Groove Funnels and all things business. Have a great day, guys. Speak to you all soon.